ADA, we start with one hour chart. Okay, if you refer to our analysis in my last video, when the price was here, we mentioned we're looking for buy because we put this one in relative to each other as a running flat. And this is what we should be in right now. And if we move to 15 minute chart, okay, because when the price was here, I mentioned if we get any correction or flag, we can look for buy. And the only way to trade was having trade above this stuff. Okay, no, anyway, now the traders, if anyone managed to get this trade, because we were considering this one in relative to this. Now they need to know, I mean, to manage the, the trade, at least move their stop loss into break even, because we want to see how this correction uh, will form. Okay, now we move to higher time frame. We start with a weekly chart. Okay, as we can see, the top is here. What's the top? I mean, the almost is 1.4. We, we want to see whether the price can break 1.4 or not because now the highest price we got is almost 1.2. Okay, now we want to see how we can trade. What's the next? And if you move to daily chart, we can see we had we have been within this correction. We get the breakout. How high it can go before we get the next correction? Okay, now the thing is whether this one can continue and break this top without giving the correction similar to what we have here, or we can expect one more correction before the breakout, okay? Now, this is what we think we need to be careful if, when we, if we want to buy, because if we buy and then it's moved to the correction, maybe, it can give us, uh, maybe the correction can be quite long. I mean, we will be in the correction for the long term in compared to this, what we had here, okay? Now, if I move to forward chart, based on forward chart, the only things we can show that if we put this one in relative to each other, the only things is we can see the divergence. And here, this is just for information for the traders, okay? But the only things I can see right now, we're looking for the correction here for the continuation, okay? And if I move to one hour chart, you see how we can trade it, okay? Based on one hour chart, the only thing is since we had this sharp move up and down all right now we want to see how we can look for this uh i mean for the chart because now the question is can i put this one in relative to this or not but right now the question is we have is this sharp move okay now by the way, we don't have any, right now we don't have any other option. The only things we mean, if we consider this one in relative to this, with this one chart for the next move, okay? If we wanna follow trade based on this, what we can expect, price sharp break. But the, this sharp, I mean, we will be similar to what we have here. That's mean we can get one sharp move within one or two candle, then start, we get another correction there, okay? By the way, the best, best thing is if we get a bigger correction, it can give us a better confirmation for the continuation. But if the price continue from here, right now the only way having a trade above this, which is really risky because now the price is very high. Okay, and the another thing, so if this one, as I mentioned, start to correct a bit more lower, then we can look for the entry, have a sharp move, flag, and buy. Okay. Now, if I move to 15 minute chart, we see how we can trade. Okay, I don't think if this one continue here, give a flag, sorry, if this one continue here, give a flag, it's still we can consider this one to buy, but even we get the buy when the price come to this level, we need to start to manage. That's why if we wanna buy within this range, maybe we can have entry above this. We don't need to look for buy setup here. And what we want, we want the price break and continue. Okay, we, because right now, maybe we put this one in relative to each other, which is not a really good trade. I mean, if you wanna, it's not a really good correction, but in case the price continue from here, the best thing is if this correction price drop more, one more, then from there, any flag we take it. That's mean if this one become more corrective. Okay, by the way, right now, we don't have any trade setup that can confirm to give a, as very good trade. The only way we can trade having three above this. Or if traders based on lower time frame, they couldn't manage to get the trade set up within this range. And the best thing is if this one become more corrective, then yeah, we can confirm for the next move. Okay. 
anyway, we don't have any good trade setup right now. The only thing is, as I mentioned, and for those traders that are in the trade from here, at least they can move their stop loss. If they want to keep the trade, they move their stop loss to the break even because may this one become a more deep and deeper correction before we get the next move. Okay. Anyway, uh, we just wrote the chart. If I see any trade setup or which we can confirm for the next move, then I will share. And also if I see any update, thanks.